Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Brizzo. You might remember me from such walkthroughs as Legendary, The Maw, and Explosion Man. And this is Wolfenstein Train Station Part Two. So this is the uh, Car 98. Uh, it's one of my all-time favorite uh, weapons from World War II video games because it's incredibly accurate. Uh, one of the best, terrible name throw. One of the best uh, upgrades for this weapon. One of the first ones we're going to be getting is the stripper clip, which lets you load uh, five rounds at once instead of having to load them one at a time. And this is supposed to be your uh, intro to using the weapon, which is pretty much a one-hit kill, pretty much on anybody. Um, there's not too many places we'll be using it later on in the game, but it is going to be our sniper rifle. Oh, it also makes this incredible noise, which gets kind of dulled if you put the uh, silencer on it. But I'll be going over the um, upgrade systems when we get there. And this box is floating in the midair. Um, I believe I came out of this mission with 4,500 gold, which means you will ha have 3,500. Um, if this is your second time playing the game, uh, you could turn on cheats if you want. Uh, cheats let you have all the weapons, all the veil powers, uh, all. You can have a thousand gold, and you can give everybody pumpkin heads. I kind of get lost when I get in here. There's a there's an intel and it's right on the wall over there. And there's a there's a gold in here. I s couldn't seem to find either of them. This is why you shouldn't uh, record tired. No, it's right on the freaking wall. It's twice I was right next to it and didn't even realize it. There it is. It's glowing. See it? Ah, oh, pick it up. And then I walked right past the gold, and I went, oh shit, that's right, there's a gold upstairs. Uh, here's your first MG-42 nest. You'll notice that um, the AIs will, like, they're not just in one of those situations where you kill the guy on the MG-42 and then nobody else will get on. No, they'll keep getting on as long as there's guys within proximity of getting on the gun, so you really need to keep an eye on what's going on with them. There's also a nice little sequence where you actually get to wreck some shit with it. Alright, 
Alright, so when this bomb goes off, shit starts getting crazy. Uh, when you make it into the next room, there's going to be these kind of explosions and the Nazis are going to start floating in the air. And there's an achievement slash trophy for uh, killing three of them and you'll probably get at the first three Nazis you run into. This is where my play ended up getting horrible. Uh, apparently there's some guys down at the end here. And I just kind of ended up running right past them. And they were like lighting me up in the back. From my back. And when I was coming around the corner here, I was like, what the hell is killing me? Um, I don't know where they come from. So before you advance past this little room, make sure you got everybody taken out. Because there's quite a few guys on the other side of this. Alright, well that's all the collectibles for this level. Uh, there's a nest up there, you're gonna wanna... There's no machine gun in there, but you're gonna wanna gr get a grenade in there, because there's usually uh, two or three guys in there. Anyway, this is the, uh, the end of train station. Uh, the next video is probably gonna be the hub world, uh, where you're gonna pretty much learn the ins and outs of the game. So, I'll see you guys there. At the train station, I made contact with Eric Engel of the Chrysaw Circle. Unfortunately, there's a mole somewhere. The Nazis knew about my arrival. We managed to fight our way out and destroy a special operations train along the way. It carried some unusual munitions that canceled gravity when it detonated. Everything floated to the ceiling. No doubt this has something to do with General Zeta and the Thule Medallion. I hope to find out more when I meet up with Caroline Becker, the leader of the Chrysaw Circle.